teacher year three. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Miss Sajid and I'll be your teacher next year. Just to share a bit about myself so you can get to know me better, when I'm not at school, I love spending time with my friends and family. I love to bake yummy cakes and I love to read. During your time at home, I know you have been working extremely hard and I can't wait to see your amazing talents and qualities next year. I know that some of you might be feeling excited or maybe even a little bit nervous about coming in September, but this is completely understandable. I and all the staff at Manor will be here to look after you and to help you whenever you need. I am so excited to get to know you and I can't wait to help you to continue to find your wings and fly. I just know that we are going to have a fantastic year together, Year 3, and I can't wait for all of us to get to know each other a bit better. Like you did in Year 2, we have some behaviour expectations that we need to keep in mind for Year 3, but I know that we are all brilliant at doing that already. As you can see, we have some behaviour expectations on the board, which we can go through together now. Our first one is, we are a team, so we all work together. We are positive, so we use our growth mindset and believe that we can do anything we put our minds to. And we listen to one another, which is really important. In Some of the amazing teachers in Year 3 will be Miss Newell and Miss Smith, who you already know. Mrs Turner and Mrs Amoruso will also be working with us in our classrooms. When a teaching assistant is in our classroom, they will be happy to help you with your learning. When you arrive at school in the morning, you will walk onto the Key Stage 2 playground and wait for the entrance to open. This entrance is on the bottom of the playground and there will be teachers at the entrance who will be excited to see you. You will walk up the stairs and along the corridor. Remember to hold the railing to keep you safe. You will find your peg and hang up your belongings on the peg that has your name on it. Here are some examples of what your classroom will look like next year. Remember to go to the toilet during break time and lunch times. But if you do need to go to the toilet during lesson time, this is fine. Just remember to put your hand up and ask. The toilets are in the corridor next to our classroom. Remember to wash your hands after going to the toilet. At break time and lunch time, you will play with your friends on the lower key stage 2 playground. At lunchtime there will be dinner ladies and on break times there will be teachers to help you if you need anything. We have some great learning opportunities in store for you during autumn term which we can go through some together now. In science we have the exciting opportunity to investigate what animals including humans need in order to survive. We then move on to exploring forces and magnets. We will travel back in time and study all about the World War II, including how children lived during this time in history. In RA, we investigate a range of stories from religions around the world and explore different beliefs about how the world was created. And in computing, we have the exciting opportunity to create our own healthy heroes and bring them to life using lots of exciting technology. Now, usually we have the opportunity to complete some lovely learning around our likes and dislikes, or complete some work that we can put up in our classroom, but this year is a little bit different. I would like you to complete some learning around your likes and dislikes and bring this with you in September. You can be creative as you like, use lots of colours, or you could even create a lovely poster where you could include lots of pictures. All that is left to say is I can't wait to learn with you and work with you next year. See you all soon.